Good morning! Or whenever you're watching this, uh, Tammy Cinematics Games, I'm tired. Hi. <laughs> I went to bed, I was watching Yellowstone. Cause, all right, I started watching Yellowstone when it first came out and then like, I moved out here in the middle of nowhere and didn't have cable anymore. And then, you know, it was only available on Peacock Network and I apparently signed up for the Peacock Network and forgot I signed up for it. Um, so yeah, now I'm catching up on Yellowstone. <laughs> I'm already, I started watching it, what, Thursday? I'm already almost finished with season four, but I know season five is coming, so yeah. Um, anyway, I stayed up really late watching that, and then I woke up at five o'clock in the morning for no freaking reason. So, good morning. <laughs> and I'm drinking coffee, which makes no sense. Reason it makes no sense? Caffeine makes me tired. Too much caffeine makes me ill. Like I start getting shakes and nausea and yeah, it's ridiculous. Um, but sometimes I just want a cup of coffee. You know what doesn't make me ill? Hagen dazs coffee ice cream. Mm-hmm. Sprinkle some graham cracker crumbs on it. It's delicious. Um <laughs> Ooh, you know what I should try? You know that uh is it it's like a marshmallow flavored coffee syrup? by the people that make the coffee syrup, tea something, terrazzo, whatever it is, that company, they make like a, like a s'mores, uh, coffee syrup, which is delicious and hot chocolate. Um, but yeah, that with some coffee ice cream, probably be delicious and super sweet. Mm. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Tangents. Um, what is this? Episode, episode 20? Episode 20. Hi. Um, all right, the last couple of episodes, or honestly, all of my episodes as of late, I feel like are very acquisition heavy. And while that is my reality, because I can't seem to stop buying things, I'm going to stop buying things. Um, <laughs> but with that said, I feel like I should show you guys some knitting and whatnot, even though I don't have that much, because I don't want this, this podcast to turn into a haul type of thing because that's not going to be an all the time thing it's not I know it looks that way <laughs> there has just been a lot of events you know the yarn crawl Maryland sheep and wool and you know when I first started knitting I mentioned to you guys in my intro video I'm one of those people that when I decide I like a hobby I get everything related to it because I don't ever want to be without something I might need like, you know, when you're knitting and a pattern calls for a certain needle and you don't have it, you have to go buy a new needle. I don't want that to ever happen. I want to be able to, like, find a pattern for something and have everything I need right there to get going. Um, the only thing I'm not like that about is sewing because I... I don't know how I feel about sewing yet. Like I enjoy my finished products when they look okay, <laughs> but I'm not ready to like dive into that. Um, just like I want to do quilting. I'm not ready to dive into that. So I'm not going to buy all the things because I already know they're expensive. I like weaving. Um, and that loom we had when I was a kid that I mentioned in a video a while back was a tapestry loom. Cause I was like looking, um, was it Aquila? Yeah, Aquila was, uh, she unboxed a loom and it's like a, is it a rigid heddle loom or whatever? Mine didn't look like that. Mine was basically like a frame with all these notches in it where you put the stuff and then we made rugs on it. So yeah, it was like a tapestry loom. Uh, so that's the kind of weaving I know how to do. I don't know how to do any of the other kind. I mean, I, it's all weaving, right? Um, sorry, my back hurts. <laughs> old, old. I'm sure people that watch me that are like older than me are like, how is this girl saying she's old? Dude, <laughs> I have arthritis. I'm old. Things hurt. I turn a certain way and like something in my back, I can't remember what it's called, but it, it's like something in my spine overlocks and gets stuck. My physical therapist explained it to me once because he had to release it so I could walk. <laughs> when I was in physical therapy because I was like I can't do my knee exercises my back is messed up and he's like come in and let me see and then he did like something to my back and like 
it was like I had to lay on the table like this and he went crack and then my back felt better. <laughs> and I could go to a chiropractor, but my mom always said not to go to a chiropractor because once you start going, you kind of can't stop because they keep you in alignment and you become reliant on it. And I'm one of those people that don't want to be reliant on things. Um, just like with my knee surgeries that I've had, my pain medications, I might take them for two days and then I stop and then I tolerate the pain. Um, which I did with my last big surgery when they took the screws out of one knee and then did all the stuff to the other knee, same day. Um, I decided I'm not going to take my pain meds. I feel fine. And like woke up at like two o'clock in the morning in intense pain and was like, this was a mistake. <laughs> but yeah, I'm one of those people that don't want to rely on things. So yeah. Anyway, tangents. Um, this video is going to be a little bit different than my usual videos in that there are going to be clips. Because uh, there's been just so much going on, so much stuff that I filmed things in bits. Um, today is Saturday. So I did a little filming on... Was it last Thursday? I did filming Wednesday. Yeah, so there's a couple of days of filming, like two or three days, two, three, 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 including this one, um, that I'm gonna just mash together for your entertainment purposes. Um, <laughs> Cause it was just easier for me to film that way. Um, but. As I explain in one of the clips, I don't typically film this way. Um, so this is not going to be a regular thing. Um, but anyway, one of the things I wanted to do is I feel like my videos have become very acquisition heavy and I don't want that to be a thing, um, which I said that already. Um, so I'm going to show some knitting, even though I don't have a lot of knitting, just to have something that isn't acquisition-y in here. Uh, but going forward, there will be less acquisitions because I have so much stuff. I, I have my de-stash box, yes. So I have room for more stuff, but no. I'm going to slow it down, um, save up some monies. Uh, Ryan Beck, <laughs> I have decided to go. I have booked the hotel. I have booked the plane tickets. I just need to book the car and I need to do that soon because I feel like they're all going to be gone. Um, yeah, so I just need to book the car. But I'm going to go to Rhinebeck, you guys. And then when I went to Maryland Sheep and Wool and I picked up my dogs and they hit me with the bill. It was my first trip since getting Benton. So I'm used to paying for one dog to board. So when they hit me with the bill, I was like, 300 and what? <laughs> And I want to be gone longer for the New York trip, like a day or two longer. I think, yeah, I want to be gone an extra day or two days. I don't know, whatever. I want to be gone a little bit longer, so it's going to be over $300 to board my dogs. <sighs> if I had friends here, I could have somebody come chill in my house for the weekend and take care of my boys, but I just, dang it. <laughs> I need friends. I told my friend, I was like, I'm going to marry a dude just so he can mow the lawn and walk the dogs when I go on trips. <laughs> like, that's all he's got to do. You don't have to pay rent or nothing. I got that. Just walk the dogs and mow the grass. That's all you got to do. That's all you get. You get free room and board. Just do that. <sighs> I even thought about getting a roommate just for that purpose. Like, I just want you to mow the lawn and walk the dogs. I'll do everything though. Ah, oh well. Anyway, it's 10 minutes. I'm just, <sighs> good morning. <laughs> let's, let's, let's do stuff. Okay. That's what y'all are here for, right? I'm not here for my stories. Um, first, okay, here we go. Jumping in. If you follow my Instagram, you already saw my post. I'm having a make along. Uh, it's gotta be film or TV related, any pattern you want, anything you want to make, but you have to make it like, it's going to be an Instagram post to win. 
if you're on Instagram. So just join Instagram. If you're not on it already, just join Instagram for this and then you can delete it later. <laughs> but anyway, it's going to be a three month make along. But again, it's make an accessory. It has to be film or TV related, either the pattern or the yarn. Like if you're using my yarn, bonus, it, you're already there. Um, <laughs> but if you make like, I don't know, like a Star Wars themed something, there you go, you're in. Um, or TV shows, TV shows. Star Trek. There's a, there's a, there's a shawl. Um, what's her name? I'll post it. There's a shawl that's Star Trek themed. Done. You're in. The film reel socks. Pattern released today, y'all. I'm not going to cast it on today. I'm going to cast it on for summer sock camp because I told you guys I'm going to do summer sock camp, but my goal is to do pattern socks. So yes, the film reel socks came out. If you all want to make the film reel socks, I'm here for that. Um, but anyway, here's what we're going to do. So for the make along, you post a photo of your finished object on your Instagram or whatever, and use the Cinemal 2022 tag. And that's your post for that month. You can enter as many times as you want throughout the month. There's just one prize though. Um, and then if you make something, so that's June, say you make something else in July, that's your entry for July. So you have to cast on and, or have whatever, and make whatever you're going to make within the month of your post. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? <laughs> but anyway, here are the prizes. It's just going to be a sock set and maybe some other things. Uh, cause those of you who have won things from my giveaways before know that I like to throw in extras. Um, so you, you guys have already seen these. So it's going to be the Howl's Moving Castle sock set in the Coquette sock, which is the 75% Corydale and 25% nylon. And I don't know if I mentioned it, but it's Superwash Corydale. And then the Stephen King Christine set, which is the Squishy Sock 7525 Superwash. And then, because I didn't have any more Bumblebee Acres giveaway stuff, I pulled um, some self-striping. So Turtle Pearl Striped Turtle Toes. This is 7525. Um, it's 250 grams. Uh, to make sock and I'm going to throw in a mini so you can have a contrast heel and toe if you so desire. Um, so that's going to be one of the prizes. I'm not sure which prize will be for which month. Um, but yeah, when <laughs> June, <laughs> July, August, I don't know if that's how it's going to go. I'm just going to put them in a bag and whatever I grab first is going to be the prize for that month. Um, so yeah, that's going to be the prize. Um, Already, I know that you're going to get this and you're going to get some stitch markers and a sticker. And then whatever else I find throughout the summer. We'll see what happens. I might even throw, throw in some cinematic skeins yarn. I don't know. But the yarn, the sock sets, will, and the stitch markers will definitely be in the prize pack. Um, and it's just like a little something fun to do. And because everybody is having a make along or knit along right now, you can enter for multiple things like summer sock camp, make some movie. If you make the film reel socks, you can enter them for my giveaway. You can enter them for the um, summer sock camp giveaways. Um, Cocktail hour, the coop is having a flower themed make along or knit along. I can't remember which. But they're having a flower themed one. So if you make something for like, what's a flowery movie? Secret Garden. If you make something Secret Garden themed, there you go. You, you can enter my giveaway and theirs. So yeah, multiple things. And I just, I was de-stashing. And then I also, I had bought those extra sock sets so I could give things away to you guys. And I was trying to figure out when I would do a giveaway for it. And here we go. We're going to do a summer make along. So you can knit, you can crochet, you can sew, do whatever you want to do as long as it's film or TV related. Okay. So got that out of the way. Um, finished objects. Let's do that. 
finished objects. Do you remember I told you guys I was making this uh, swirly whirl hat? Well, I finished it the very next day and never showed it to y'all. This is my swirly whirl hat. It is not exactly styled as I expected it to be. It's not, I mean, it's slouchy, but not like super slouchy. And I had a big head, so. But yeah, it's my little hat. The only thing I changed in the pattern is this bit. Um, Cause when you're doing the closure, it was like one round and then you like tightened everything. But I did two rounds and then tightened everything. And I think it works better for me. Um, but it's cute. It's very cute. And this is Madeline Tosh Spectrum. It's pretty. Super pretty. Okay. And then I don't know if I showed you guys that I finished the second sock for um, Close Encounters. <laughs> so I finished my second sock. And I finished my rainbow socks with the Close Encounters contrast, which I think looks great with the rainbow stripe. Super, super cute. These are still damp. <laughs> I just finished it uh, yesterday. Or no, I finished it Thursday, but I blocked them yesterday. Um, that's it for finished objects. Works in progress. Now, I'm still working on this. The ribbing is taking forever. Um, last time you guys saw it, I just, I think I was here and now I'm here. And I've got to do basically double this to finish. <laughs> so much ribbing. Um, so, yeah. And then I still got to redo the sleeves. So, basically, all I'm doing is I'm frogging to here and then just doing it straight. Um, so, it's just this much I've got to frog and redo. So, that's that one. And we're going to show all of the whips because. I'm going to knock these out, man. This is going to be a longish episode because of the clips and things. But I am going to try to, like, edit the hell out of them so it's not super long. What's in this bag? I forgot. No, this is just knitting needles. Okay. This is the other farmhouse cardi that I was making for my cousin. She hasn't said anything, so I know she hasn't watched the video, so she doesn't know it was for her. She'll never know. Okay. Remember this? <laughs> it's never gonna get finished. No, I'm not frog. I'm not frogging it. Do you know how much work <laughs> these birds were? I'm not frogging it. I refuse. All I've gotten done since last time y'all saw it is that that's it that's all i've got wait what is this stuck on oh mm. that's it it's all the progress i mean that's not a bad amount of progress but it's <laughs> nowhere near done look at all that look it's just there's so much left to go <laughs> it hurts my hands y'all got solutions for knitting that hurts your hands let me know because i really want to finish this soon maybe it can be my rhinebeck sweater because i was gonna i was thinking my farmhouse cardi would be my rhinebeck sweater but i feel like it's gonna be really warm um global warming um no but i feel like that sweater is really warm in general so I think this sweater would be better because it's just fingering weight. Um, and I really just want to finish it. Mm. And then my shift, I am halfway done. So I've got the first half. <laughs> now I've got to finish the second half so I can seam them together and be done. 
So close. So close. It's getting there. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like this color dealy that I did. Although I'm thinking about frogging this bit because I'm not a fan of how that's looking. I really like this bit. Because you know how like you do half of it and then you swap the way that the colors do uh, whatever and I'm not a fan of this light bit because I feel like it totally throws everything off. I don't know. I haven't decided. That's why it's sitting. Working on that. All the whips, you guys. All the whips. And then I've got... Oh no, that's finished. You guys have already seen it. I just need to weave in the ends. That's my night shift. I still haven't woven in the ends. And then... I haven't picked it up since I showed it to you guys last time. But I mean, this has been sitting for years, years. So I don't feel bad. Um, so yeah, I'll work on it when I work on it. Done. <laughs> Plans. Plans. I found, and if, I swear, I gotta stop posting on Instagram because then I feel like I'm just repeating myself when I tell you guys about other things. But I found, while browsing at two o'clock in the morning, as I tend to do, the Bright Night Shawl. I love it. I know, like, when I started all this, I said I didn't like shawls. I like making them. Do I wear them? No. <laughs> Maybe I'll get there. Maybe I'll get there. I mean, I live in Texas, y'all. It's hot. Um, but maybe I'll get there. But I'm making this one. I'm making this one. And, and, I dyed yarn for it. Want to see? Again, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen this already. <laughs> I was dyeing a black blue, like blue black. Do you remember like back in the day? Well, I had a goth phase and I dyed my hair blue black. But it was cool because it was black and then when the light hit it, it looked blue. It, it was cool. I tried to dye yarn like that, but no. <laughs> I ended up with navy and that's fine because it actually works out to be, it looks very similar to the colors that were in that shawl. But look at this navy. And I didn't use navy dye and just dye this. I mixed up my own navy. So it's pretty. Um, That's a good semi-solid, right? Huh? Look at that semi-solid dying. Look at that. Beautiful. It's like I bought it at the store. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. These are not named because I dyed them for myself. And then I dyed this. It's like a purpley gray. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. Beautiful. Yes. Yes. And then I dyed this tonal it's got I don't know if y'all can see it's got purple and blue and gray and pink and it's gonna be my moon Ta -da. Ta -da. I dyed for my own shawl so yes and I think it will look great and it looks very similar to the colors that are in the original proud of myself um and while I was dyeing that, I dyed this really pretty azure blue. Isn't that gorgeous? Another semi-solid. Isn't that pretty? I don't know what I'm gonna use it for. I just wanted to create this color. <laughs> so I did. Um, I like it a lot. And this is sport weight. Um, the shawl, I wanna say the pattern says it says something, I think it says fingering to DK or whatever, because the yarn they used for the original pattern was Mrs. Babs Yummy 3-ply, which is a heavy fingering sport kind of yarn. So I just decided to dye a sport. Um, 
I was going to just do it in DK because I have DK now, y'all. Um, but I did not. I'm going to do sports. And, you know, I considered, like, asking you guys if you all wanted to make that shawl, too. And then I would dye kits for it. But I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I can, like, continually repeat. Well, I can repeat. The I wrote all of these down, y'all. Be proud of me. I wrote them down. I could do these again. Um, so I kind of thought about doing kits for it, but I'm going to knit it first. Um, let's see if I like it. I'm not going to do kits for something I don't like. <laughs> so I'm proud of myself. Anyway, um, I also dyed, and I probably mentioned it later on that I was dying it, but update failed, failed. Um, I was re-dyeing, um, oh my God, my brain, <laughs> Within Cells Interlinked. I was doing version two of Within Cells Interlinked because somebody at the arm crawl asked me to dye more and I said I would, so I did, and it is a fail. Um, I have tried to reset the color twice and it's still bleeding. It's bleeding yellow, which tells me the base that I used was probably not the same yellow that I used on the first one because that that yarn did not bleed at all. This yarn will not stop bleeding yellow. And it annoys the crap out of me when my yarn bleeds because I feel like I have ruined the yarn and it's a waste and I don't know what to do with it because I don't want to sell it because it bleeds and I don't want it to ruin something for somebody. And granted this one, it bleeds yellow. I don't think it's going to ruin much, but, and you know, it might stop after a few like runs through the washing machine because it's super wash, but I am tired of washing and rinsing this yarn. I feel like I'm wasting water. It's like I've wasted yarn and I've wasted water and it makes me angry, especially because if you remember within cells interlinked is dyed on 8515. So I'm super mad that I ruined it um, with this base. You know, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go through all of my dye and dye yarn at like 4% depth of shade. Maybe I'll use minis. I'll dye some minis at 4% depth of shade. And any of them that bleed are going in the garden or wherever they go because I want to dispose of them properly because I'm not having this I'm not having it I'm not ruining yarn like that and it's not like I could see like some of my yarn that bled like I have a blue in there that bleeds because I used way too much dye that is not the case within within cells interlinked I did not use too much dye I used the exact same amount of dye that I used on the first iteration of it but this one mm, it's making I'm mad I'm mad about it I'm mad about it I guess I'm mad about it because I woke up this morning after resetting it for like the third time and like tried to wash it out and it was still bleeding and so it's like fresh <laughs> I'm mad about it I am not doing it again I'm not I'm not doing it again so if you wanted more of within cells interlinked I'm sorry what was at the yarn crawl? That's, that, that's all you get. I'm sorry. I, I'm not doing it again. I don't want to potentially ruin any more yarn because I don't have the capability. Well, not the capability. I don't have the desire to continually spend money on something. It's like a waste for me. I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm harping on it. I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> anyway, moving on. I think that was it okay so <laughs> the knitting the yarn dyed I'm so happy about this no and it smells good because I dyed it and I like my yarn wash um <laughs> all right so I did the giveaway I did some knitting I feel better about myself now that I've shown something that's not acquisitions so let's do acquisitions shall we Okay, Madeline Tosh pop-up event. So this was an event 
I'm Evelyn Tosh, who happens to be in Fort Worth. And I know they're part of Jimmy Bean's Wool now. I'm not quite sure how that works, how it splits up. Like, is it still Madeline Tosh or is it Jimmy Bean's Wool as Madeline Tosh? I don't know how it works. Anyway, they did a pop-up event uh, along with a tour of the facility. And me being me, <laughs> I originally went specifically took off work to go to this event because I wanted to do the tour. I wanted to see how they have all their stuff set up. It's like, you know, I'm a new dyer and, you know, maybe there's some tips in there I can pick up from a larger company that does yarn dyeing. You know, they do use vinegar, by the way. Um, <laughs> I use vinegar for sparklies, only for sparklies, because I don't like the way it smells. Because, yeah, it's already weird to have my entire house smell like wet wool. Um, so <laughs> only when I'm dying. Anyway, I completely, being me, got distracted and was hot because it's hot in Texas right now. It's Texas. Um, I saw the yarn. I got the yarn. I said, it's hot. I'm going home now. <laughs> I totally forgot that my whole purpose was to go on the tour. It works out though, because someone else that went on the tour was a vlogger and she took video of the whole tour. So I got to see everything I would have seen if I'd been there without being hot. Anyway, so let's show you what I picked up. And yeah, I don't need any more yarn. I don't, I don't. I'm pretty sure I already went over this in the beginning of this video, uh, but. At the pop-up event, they had um, the local yarn stores that had specialized colorways for the yarn crawl there. So it was Hill Country Reavers, West Seventh Wool, Yarn and You, and Juju Knits. Um, I did not pick up the Hill Country Weavers colorway because I already have a lot of similar yarns in my stash and I'm trying to do better. Um, I did not pick up the colorway from West Seventh Wool. I just don't know what I would use it in. It's like I want to get it to support West Seventh Wool, but I support West Seventh Wool. I go there all the time. So it's okay. Um I did not get the yarn in you because I already have it. And I did pick up the Juju Knits colorway, although I really wish they'd had some sock weight left. But that's my fault because I didn't make it there during the yarn crawl. They don't have any more sock weight. Um, but anyway, they did have the farm twist base, which I believe is worsted or DK. I'm not sure which. Um, so I did pick that up. That's what that looks like. Isn't that pretty? I think this would pair really, really well with a, like a grass green like this. Um, well, this is sock, but isn't that pretty like together? Uh, so yeah, I picked this up from Juju Knits. And I picked up, this was a limited edition bag. They had, I want to say, was it for the yarn crawl last year? Or some event they had last year. And this is the Juju Knits logo. And I just really love their logo. So I decided to pick up this bag. It's one of those knot bags, which isn't really my taste. Um, I've mentioned to you guys, I like bags with zippers. Unlike a lot of knitters, they like to drawstring. I like zippers. Um, Although now that I've read and seen that a lot of knitters prefer not to have zippers because your yarn gets caught in it, I've not had that issue yet. Um, I like zippers because I have dogs that steal yarn. Or, well, Theo steals yarn. Um, and I drop things. So <laughs> zippers work for me. Um, but what I may do is make bags that have drawstrings on the inside and then like a zipper on the outside. So if you want to use the zipper, you can. And if you want to use the drawstring, you can. I don't, I don't know. I know I've seen bags that have zippers and drawstrings. I'm just not quite sure how it, as a new sewer, I don't really know how to put all that together. But I may do that at some point. Um, I am planning to make some drawstring bags because I've never made a drawstring bag. And if it's really simple, I just might make a bunch and put them in the shop. We'll see. Um, we'll see. I'm not promising that. And then um, they had regular Jimmy Bean's wool stuff. So they had the Gigi Made It bag. I did not buy it. I'm sorry, Gigi. I am not a fan of orange. 
I like fire orange, but I'm not, it's very bright. It's in that family of yellow for me. Like I'll deal with stuff that has orange or yellow in it, but I don't want it to be the predominant color because it's a little bright for me. But anyway, I did not buy the Gigi Made It bag. I bought the paint splatter bag. I, look at the rainbow. <laughs> and honestly, I bought this with the intent of making it a giveaway thing. So I don't know if I am gonna do that. Um, Maybe I'll give away one size because it comes with three bags and keep one size. I don't know. Or I might keep them. I don't know. I haven't decided because they're freaking cute <laughs> and it's black. I mean, anyway, back to the yarn. Back to the yarn. Look at this. Look at it. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love it. More than likely, this is going to be, I don't know. Like, I was thinking DK socks, but I believe vintage is worsted DK. I don't know. Now I'm thinking maybe it would look really cool as a background and something. I don't know. It's pretty. I like it. I bought it. I'm not even going to make excuses anymore. I buy what I like, and if I'll figure out what I'm going to put it in at some point. So this is a case of there's some orange in here, but it's not the predominant color. It's more of a burgundy with bits of orange. I thought was really pretty. Look at all the colors. Oh, so cute. I don't know what I'm going to make with this, but I'm going to make something cool. And actually it's DK and I could probably blend this in with some of my Mal Malabrigo. It's, oh, look at all those colors. I don't know. I might set this aside. This might have to be like special, uh, like in a cowl or something. Because I'm obsessed with making cowls lately. I don't know. I didn't need this one. I don't know why I bought it. I might put it in the giveaway then. <laughs> I know why I bought it. Because it's blue. And I love blue. And like tealy blues. But I have a lot of tealy blue. And if I remember right. I actually might have this one. This one. And Tosh sock is like Malabrigo sock. Whereas it's 100% merino. There's no nylon which is misleading. Um, I found that when I did the one of a kind truck last time, I bought a lot of their charcoal grays and blacks and I've used pretty much all of them. So that's what I bought this for. I just said I wasn't going to validate why I bought. Anyway, I bought this one. I'm thinking it's like a one of a kind of whiskey barrel that's just too light to be whiskey barrel. So it got kicked out, but it reminds me of tree bark. This one, I love this one. I almost bought all of them, but I decided not to be greedy and to just get one. Love it. Love it. And this one I think is mislabeled because I am pretty sure this is fingering weight and it's labeled as DK. And I, I want to say, because looking at the base, it looks very similar to the Tosh yarn I have that does have nylon in it, but I don't know how to tell if there's nylon in it. Is there a trick? I don't know, but I, this is not DK. Definitely suck. And then I bought four of this one because uh, there were only four and I thought they would make a really pretty tank top. I just have to find a pattern for a tank top. And I don't know if four skeins of yarn is enough to make a tank top. I know it's enough to make my copperhead tee used four skeins of yarn, but 219 yards. There was more yardage in my copperhead tee and part of the, it was four skeins of regular. No, yeah, four skeins. It was just four skeins of yarn because I used three for the body and then one for the color work. So yeah, it was four skeins, but I don't know if this is enough to make a tank top for my size. I hope it is. What I might have to do is buy 
like a skein of like maybe a gray in this base. So like maybe gray to here, or maybe two skeins of gray, and then color the rest of the way. I don't know. I don't know, but look at it. It's like prismatic. Um, and I just thought it would be a really pretty summer tank top. And this is the Madeline Tosh wool cotton, which I've never used. Um, it's 50 cotton or 50% Pima cotton, 50% superwash merino. And my Glen Barrow sweater is cotton and wool. Yeah, cotton and wool. And it's not super hot. So I thought this would be a good tank top type deal. I just don't know if I have enough yarn. If anybody has any uh, tank top patterns, feel free to drop them to me. Do not send me the outline tank one. I don't want to have holes in my, I want solid. Um, that color is so cool. So cool. So yeah, I think this will make a really pretty tank top. I've just got to figure out the yardage if it's enough and if it's not what to do. Um, but yeah, so that was the Mad Tosh pop-up event. That is what I bought. Um, this has got to be something special. What am I going to do with this? I could make DK socks, but I want to make it, I want to put it as something with color work that I'm going to see. Could say I'm gonna make another shawl, but it's something I'll wear more than a shawl. I don't know. Maybe I'll make a wrap. I don't know. I really like this one. Um, it, they only had one of these. I honestly would have bought more of these if they had more of this. I would have been greedy for that one. Um, yes. Anyway, next clip. <laughs> hey y'all, welcome to my floor. <laughs> um, I was in here the other day organizing. Would y'all go somewhere? organizing uh, the stash. I've got it slightly organized. Like I mostly went through it and pulled skeins to D-stash and then just kind of put it back. This, my friends, is the D-stash bin. There's none of my yarn in here. This is all other people's yarn. The only thing I didn't D-stash were my minis and my 50 gram skeins. And I did not get rid of this yet because I still have the intention of making a cable knit sweater with it. Um, although I'm a little wary of this yarn because it just pulls apart super easy. So I don't, maybe a sweater isn't a good idea. I don't know. I'll think about it. But anyway, that's what I've been up to. What have you been up to? My yarn finally came. That's awesome. So I have yarn dying. I dyed a green. I am not thrilled with. Um, <laughs> then I dyed um, within cells interlinked. I'm re-dyeing that even though I said I would not repeat a colorway um, just to see if I can. Um, Cause somebody asked me to re-dye that one and I said I would. So I have, although I don't think it's the exact same. Like I know it's not the exact same. It's the same mix of colors but I can already tell that the red isn't as vibrant. It's more of a rust tone. And I think the green isn't as bluish, but I used all the same dyes. But I mean, this is why I don't repeat colorways because <laughs> I don't write things down. Um, I did write this version down just in, in case I end up liking it and want to repeat it at some point, although I doubt it. Um, I doubt it. Um, and I'm dying for my own personal project. There is a shawl I'm going to make and I'm dying for that. Um, uh, sorry, dogs. <laughs> They've been super crazy today. Um, I think it's because my work has been really, really busy. So I've been ignoring them more than normal. Stop. Um, yeah. So anyway, that's all I've been up to. Um, separating yarn. Um, I really need to focus and add this D stash yarn to the website. I just haven't felt like it. <sighs> I haven't felt like doing much of anything, to be honest. Um, I've been knitting some socks and working on the ribbing of that sweater. <laughs> that is never going to be finished because I don't want to do the ribbing. 
It's so close to being done. I literally have three inches of ribbing left to do. And then I just got to work on the redoing the sleeves and then it's done. And it's not even the full sleeves. It's like from here to here. So like just the forearm portions of the sleeves to redo. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I've been randomly buying things again, even though I just did Marilyn Sheep and Wool. And I literally was at the hotel last day of Marilyn Sheep and Wool buying stuff on my phone. Yeah. Um, I'm going to show all that in a minute. Okay. Um, so you would think I would pull everything that I was going to show you guys before I cut the camera on, but no. Anyway, so remember how I said that um, for Maryland Cheap and Wool, there were some items that I had shipped to me because I was afraid that they would break in my suitcase? Well, and this is probably going to show up backwards because I've been playing with the camera settings because I noticed that things were backwards, like words and stuff on this camera because I got a new phone and I can't figure out how to switch it so they're not... <laughs> I even went to the setting that says like mirrored selfie whatever and switched it to on because it was off and it's still not it didn't do anything so I don't know what to do but anyway <laughs> if you're able to invert whatever this photo um this is the collaboration between Oval and Home Row Fiber Company and it says yarn makes me feel all warm and buzzy inside and it's got knitting needles on it isn't that cute? Rochelle, so awesome. Um, but yeah. Is there a thingy? I don't know. Maybe it works. Maybe it's just backwards for me. Um, and my clay monster mug. <laughs> Isn't he cute? If you're on my Instagram, you've already seen him. But he's stripey. He reminded me of Jupiter. I love all things Jupiter. Uh, which we will go over in a moment. It's just plain on the inside. But isn't it cute? I think I'll call him Herman. It's my Herman cup. Like the monsters. Herman. Monster. Ha ha ha. Okay. <laughs> Those are my cups. And then I had this shipped to me because it wouldn't fit in my suitcase. However, it would have fit in my suitcase. Um, but part of it's missing. I ordered the felting kit and a mat and they did not ship me my mat. Um, I let them know that and they are shipping it. They said they're bad, um, but they are shipping my mat. But if it had come with the mat, it wouldn't have fit in my suitcase. <laughs> I didn't have room for it. But it's the needle felting kit, painting with wool. And this is the desert, desert trail. And I said to myself that I may not do this exact picture, but I will do these colors. Because I might want to like change up the mountain formation a little bit. I don't know. There was another one they had that was like a beach scene with like rocks and stuff. And I kind of wanted to buy that one, but change the picture. So it looks like, um, um, what's that beach? Cannon Beach where the Goonies was filmed. Because I've actually been there. So I was going to do like the three, the three rocks. Because Goonies. I still might buy that at some point. Like if I'm any good at this. Um, we'll see. Because when they were at the at their booth, they had a little thing and they let you like play so you could see if you could do it. And it didn't seem that hard. Um, I am accident prone and I fully expect to stab myself repeatedly. Um, <laughs> yeah. And also speaking of stabbing myself repeatedly, <laughs> that Halloween cross stitch that I still have yet to pick up since I showed it to you guys a really long time ago. Uh, the designer of that, uh, I believe it's Witchy Stitcher, is having another um, stitch along that's starting real soon. And I kind of want to do it just to make myself pick something up. Because then I'm like following along and it's timed. Like each week, I think you get one square of the pattern. So I feel like maybe I should sign up for that so I actually do it. Because then it's timed. And I feel like I have to like, kind of like going to the gym. I only go if I'm paying for a physical trainer because then it's worth it to me. If it's just like a subscription, like you can charge 25 bucks a month to your bank account, I'll forget about it. But I'm, if I'm actually like utilizing someone else's time, I'll show up. 
And I would do that now, but I need a physical trainer that is experienced with physical therapy because there are things and exercises that they like to have people do that I can no longer do because of my knees. And some trainers don't seem to understand that. Yes, I'm getting off on a tangent. I'm not going to do that. Okay. <laughs> okay, show you what else I got. Fiber for the people. Speaking of Jupiter, she just had a store update and it was a ton of Jupiter. So I finally, and I finally got a sweater quantity. Now I've been looking at this yarn ever since I discovered fiber for the people. And I just kept resisting buying it. But then, you know, that Sunday that I was, you know, trying to fall asleep, you know, getting ready to come home from the Maryland Sheep and Wool. I just bought it. <laughs> it's black. It's black. And then it's got colors. So it's going to have like a little subtle like bits of color throughout. And I'm thinking I'm going to make a short sleeve tee or something with it. But I got a sweater quantity. And I got some minis because I feel like I would be robbing myself if I did not make a pair of socks with these in it. Um... So I just got a couple of minis so I could put them in as little accents in the socks. So they'll probably show up at some point during the summer sock camp if I find a pattern that will suit them. Because like I said, for summer sock camp, my goal is to do pattern socks, which more than likely means it's going to take me forever to finish a pair of socks. <laughs> but I feel like I need to practice because that one set these apart so I don't ship them. That one pattern sock, I believe it was Allie's sock that I attempted like six times and finally gave up on. I don't want that to happen again. Like I want to get this, I want to get pattern socks down. Um, so, <laughs> and I'm not going to attempt Allie's socks again because that designer is coming up with Allie's sweater that uses the same pattern and I have that yarn. So I'm going to use it. Hopefully it only calls for one skein for the color work. I have one skein of fingering and one skein of DK in that colorway that I'm going to use whenever the pattern is available. But anyway, <laughs> also fiber for the people. Uh, this is Dear Friend. Witcher. I know, I keep buying black yarn with colors in it. It's what I like. And hey, they'll all go together. <laughs> okay. And then I was watching Grocery Girls, as I tend to do, and I love how long their episodes are because they get me through work. Um, but they mentioned Gage Dye Works, and I've looked at Gage Dye Works because they have some really cute stripy colorways. Um, but they mentioned that one of them is designed specifically for a triangular shawl. And I thought that was super clever and I wanted to try it out. So I got Gage Dye Works. This is Concrete and Tulips. And the shawl pattern that they show for it is actually free on Ravelry. It looks like this, but it's just a simple triangular shawl. It kind of reminds me of the uh, Stephen West Boneyard shawl. But this skein is, where's the, there it is. It's 8020 Merino and it is 655 yards. It's a big skein. Um, so it's gonna be cute. It's gonna be, I don't know if I'm gonna use that exact shawl. I probably should because that's what it's designed for. Is it that shawl? But it just says triangular shawl. So maybe I'll find something else. Because I kind of want to try. What's that pattern? It's a Stephen West pattern. But it's different. Um, it's like a solid color shawl. But it's different designs. I'll find it. And post it here. Here's the picture. Okay. And then, oh, these are for the giveaway. And then I got some Ash and Bumble yarn. 
one of the first dyers I started uh, buying yarn from when I first started buying like good yarn um, was the first one I did was Black Sheep Dye Works on Etsy. Um, and then I discovered, like, I did a search for, like, indie dyed yarn, like, good, like, nifty colors. I can't remember exactly what my search reference was, but Ash and Bumble came up in that search. And they were the next, like, yarn dyer I went to. And I really like her yarn. She's really sweet. And she even helped me, like, because I was having trouble, like, with labels and things like that. And she like helped me out. She's like, this is what I used and you know, try this and here's a place you can go for fonts and super helpful, super awesome. Um, but anyway, <laughs> show you the yarn. This is vintage teacup. And I think I have some yarn here that I'm gonna do the Le Pouf on. Um, but I don't know if it will work with it. No. Ah, I need one more color and I was hoping this would work, but it doesn't. Oh, well, that's okay. I might just use beige. Go back in, stay with your group. Stay in your group. Okay. Anyway, vintage teacup. It's really pretty. And... This one is Patina, and I bought this one to go in that fade, but it will not work because it is more blue than I thought it was. This is Native Flowers, and I know it looks super, super green, but it's got color in it. It's got like purples and blues and stuff, yellow, like, oh, well, not yellow, gold. That's super pretty. Um, I saw this on the sweater that she was knitting and I like the colors together that she used and this one is butterfly wings okay and then I should probably tell you guys like all the podcasts that I watch I need more to watch um I have found that some while interesting the voice, the voices, I have a thing about voices. So some of them kind of lull me to sleep and then some of them are just too high for me. But I do need more podcasts to watch. Um, but anyway, one of the podcasts that I watch is We Share Needles. And Kimber's Cozy Creations created a colorway for them. And I apologize for the crinkling. hate these bags um and I got the sock set so I could get both of their colorways because I don't really know what I'm going to do with it other than socks um but I wanted to support because it's for fellow podcasters that I actually watch so I got their yarn and this is for Maddie and Kristen and I can't remember which one's which I think this one's Kristen because she's more of the like super colorful and then Maddie's more blue I think I don't remember, <laughs> but um, one's whip it out and one's movie knitting. So I think this is movie knitting and this is whip it out. I think I don't know, but isn't it really pretty? And they've got blue in them, so they fit into my whole vibe here. They will fit into the stash. Oh, plastic. And I got some new fabric, which maybe I shouldn't show it to you. Maybe it should be a surprise. I'll show it to you. Um, I bought this to make bags for cinematic games. I don't know when I'm going to make these bags. Uh, my mojo is all messed up. A lot of people's mojo is messed up. It's like mercury and retrograde or something. <laughs> like my mojo is all off. And felt like doing anything but it's got cameras and reels on it which I thought would make a really nice liner fabric and then clapboards in gray clapboards in red 
And I might have to find more of this one because I really like it. Cinema, lights, camera, action. I like that one a lot. And I want to say I've seen it in another color, but I might hunt for that one. But yeah, these are to make bags for cinematic scenes at some point. Because cinematic skeins, I feel like my bags should have yarn or movie stuff on them that I sell. Um, the ones I make for myself, I don't really care what's on them. It's stuff for me. So it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I may put unrelated things in the shop. I don't know. Um, the shop is a pain. I still can't get Google to um, undisable me. It says it's disabled. Like my being available in the search is disabled because something's not correct or formatted correctly. Uh, I don't know what they want from me. I've entered everything they asked for. I don't care. Um, the site works if you have the link for it. And the link for my site is in the comments or in the video description show notes daily. It's there. It's also on my Instagram page. If you go to my little link tree or whatever, it's there. So as long as you have the website address, you can find it. <laughs> you don't need Google. <sighs> Remember back in the day, we didn't have Google. <laughs> anyway, so those are my acquisitions. Um, I do have more coming. <laughs> Don't judge me. Don't judge me. I am stopping. I am stopping. I'm going to focus on dyeing and knitting. Um, thing with my knitting, one of the reasons you guys haven't seen much is because I've kind of put things on hold. Um, I mentioned in one of my videos, I went off of one of my hormone medications for my fibroid therapy. Um, and by going off of that, my hormones were all wonky and I was a little crazy. And <laughs> <laughs> well, not crazy, but you know, when you're hormonal, your emotions are all like all over the place. Um, and it made me super hyper and then it made me super sleepy. So then all I did was sleep. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> long story short, one of the side effects of being on my medication is I gained a crap ton of weight. Well, some of that weight is starting to fall off. So well, not fall off, but it's the scale is slowly going downwards very slowly, but it is going down and I have not changed my eating habits. I still eat junk, um, which I used to be really better about because I told you guys I was going to go to vet school and then I didn't go to vet school. Well, after all that happened, my mom got sick and then I decided I wanted to be a nutritionist. So then I went to school for health and nutrition <laughs> and I am five classes away from having a degree in nutrition, five classes away. Do you know why I'm five classes away? Because I had to work and those classes are only offered during the day. Couldn't afford to go to school and work. Life. Um, but I mean, I'm not doing too badly. I'm just not doing anything that I enjoy. <laughs> like growing up, I never said, I want to be a data analyst. Who says that? I wanted to be a veterinarian or a nutrition, or a kindergarten teacher. Those were my options. Like growing up, it was veterinarian, zoologist, or kindergarten teacher. And then it became nutritionist because my mom was sick. And I know that you can heal yourself from within. And she did not trust me on that. Um, and I wanna say some of the things I was suggesting probably would have made her health last a little bit longer, but no. Um, like quitting smoking would have been wise. Um, <laughs> anyway whole tangent. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, my weight is going down and I've also decided to pick up on my nutrition stuff and stop eating so much junk. Um, so I feel like my doing that is going to make my weight go down more and I don't want to make or spend a lot of time making sweaters that are going to end up being too big for me because while I do like to wear things baggy, I don't want them to be super baggy, especially because I like raglans and like the fits a little weird. Like already my, um, like you guys probably noticed, like in the video that I wore it in, my um, 
It's a sweater called Stolen Stitches. <laughs> the gray sweater I like with the little detailing that goes like that. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. I'll put it here. Uh, that sweater is now too big for me. Like, and I made it to be baggy, but I've lost enough weight now that it is a little too baggy. And while I wouldn't mind re-knitting it again, I don't want to. <laughs> I'd rather make new things. Um, yeah, I'd rather make new things. Although I'm sure now, since it was like my only second sweater, maybe I would be neater about making it and maybe I would knit it faster. I don't know. Maybe I should knit it again, just for funsies. I don't know. Anyway, 20 minutes, 20 minutes. This is a clip, <laughs> not a whole episode. I should shut up. Um, but anyway, one more thing. I got mail. I got mail from Chevis. So I'm going to open it. Because, like, I was just going to open it and then maybe show you guys what I got. But she opened my box on her uh, podcast. So I'm going to open her box on podcast. But then what if I don't like something and then I pull a face because I can't control my face? I'll like everything. I know I will. Let me see. What's in the box? What's in the box? Remember that movie? Do, do, do. Okay. Your stuff is, this box smells good. What's in here? Got some shirts. Uh oh. <gasps> this is awesome! <laughs> this is so cool! Wait, can you guys read? Move, Theo. Can y'all read that? It's shining. Yes. That's freaking cool. Oh, it's freaking cool. Okay. 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 <laughs> Sweet. See, it says Georgie. <laughs> now I want to watch it. I think I'm going to watch that tonight. Oh, should I watch the Tim Curry version or the new version? We'll see. Oh, these are so cool. I'm excited. Yay, thank you. There's more. There's more. Let me see. Let me see. I so rarely get stuff that I don't buy myself. So I'm just super excited. Just all together. It, this could be a bag of garbage and I would be excited. But it's not. So it's okay. Ooh. Mm. This is going to be another episode where I just sit here and smell soap. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. It's like refreshing and like, wake up. like <laughs> Exhilarating. <laughs> refreshing and exhilarating. Uh, exhilarating mint scrub with apricot kernel powder. Ooh, scrubby. Olive oil, coconut oil, palm oil, shea butter. Ooh, abyssinian oil. So I like the oil of cats. You only got that if you know cat breeds, because there's an abyssinian cat. Okay, sorry. Castor oil. Can look. This is very moisturizing. Ooh, proprietary essential oil blend. All right. Spirulina. That's the green stuff that you put in smoothies. It does not taste good. <laughs> This smells so good, you guys. And it's by Old Fort Soap Company. Oh, it smells so good. Ha <laughs> 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 creepy doll. Katrina Farrier. That's the person that, that does my, um, my Big Trouble in Little China pins. I have Big Trouble in Little China pins from that person. Um, from, um, oh, <laughs> it's this pin. I have this pin. <laughs> but awesome. Now I have two. I can put one on my bag and then I can have one that doesn't get messed up. This is awesome. 
I have I have this one because this one's Gracie. This one's Gracie. Gracie Law. And then I have I have a Miao Yin one. Do I have them in here? They might be in my room. I'll show you guys the Miao Yin one. Uh no, they're in my room. I'll show you guys another time. <laughs> Great minds. She probably remembers I collect Big Trouble in Little China stuff. Oh, are these stitch markers? Oh, they're blue! Oh, it's so cool. Oh, I'm so excited. Blue. Oh, it's so cute. Aw, thank you, Chevy. Oh, super nice. And I love that I have two of these. I'm excited. <laughs> Aw, thank you. <laughs> I'm so excited. I don't know what to say. Thank you. You didn't have to do that. I really appreciate it. Like, I really appreciate it. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to wear these shirts. These are awesome. <laughs> Now I need to make the shining socks. I found a shining sock pattern on Ravelry. I totally need to make them, but I have to dye yarn first. Or do I? Actually, I might have. Oh, I do have a red. It's gonna be one of my socks for the summer sock camp. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make shining socks to go with this. And then, and then, well, I'm not gonna make yellow socks for Georgie's little outfit, but. Maybe I could find like a Pennywise sock. <laughs> Pennywise socks. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. This is awesome. Thank you. I never get gifts. <sighs> okay. I'm going to go. I'm like, I'm going to go. <laughs> Bye, guys. Okay. Was that good? Got lots of stuff. Um, and I actually have more acquisitions <laughs> in my mailbox right now. Um, but we'll look at those on the next episode. And um, did you guys see all this cute stuff I got from Chevis? So, all right. I wanted to show you guys. So, Chevis sent me this. And, well, you guys just saw it. So, yes. I already have one. <laughs> so, yes. And just to prove a point. They are the exact same. Um, but I wanted to show you guys the Mao Yin pen. That's Mao Yin. And one of the reasons, um, so yeah, Mao Yin and Gracie. But one of the reasons I was so excited when I found this artist is, I've told you guys, Big Trouble in Little China is my favorite movie and I collect Big Trouble in Little China stuff. There's some stuff I haven't collected because I don't like it enough to collect it. Like there are some uh, Big Trouble in Little China action figures I haven't bought. And then there's um, there's a Jack Burton uh, scaled movie, like really good movie doll type thing. I don't remember what they're called. It's not an action figure and it's not a doll. It's a figure, um, but it's super expensive. And it comes with a little eyeball thing, which creeps me out because body horror. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I collect Big Trouble Little China stuff. The thing with Big Trouble Little China merchandise, Mao Yin is always missing, which bugs me because she's one of the main, like, I know she's not in the film that much, but she's the whole thing that got it all started. Girl with green eyes. And there's not enough merch with her on it. And in my opinion, her wedding outfit was the best. So I was super excited that they had a Mao Yin pen. Um, and I haven't used it on anything because I don't want to damage it because it's so rare to find anything with her on it. Um, so I am very happy that I can put these on a display in the house if I ever make one. Which I have a plan to do. I'm going to make like a wall hanging that I put my pins on. Or I'm going to buy one of those display shelf thingies that you can put your pins on. And then I can actually put this one on a bag that I take around with me places. And these two can stay in my little display dealie. 
So, yes. Thank you again, Chavis. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, I'm sure it was enough. <laughs> and I will talk to you guys in two weeks. Uh, again, I am, the, the acquisitions are going down, y'all. They're going down. Uh, down, down, down. Red Knight's going down. <laughs> Cable Guy. I love that movie. Um, anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Time to run some errands. I'm gonna edit this, get it loaded, do all that good stuff, and, uh, go grocery shopping before it gets too hot outside. Because, ugh. And it's supposed to storm, which is probably why my head hurts. Anyway, <laughs> bye y'all. Happy knitting. <laughs>